Welcome to our tech troubleshooting video. Today, we're addressing a frustrating issue that many developers encounter when integrating Firebase into their iOS applications. One of our viewers is facing a crash during the build process, and they're puzzled by a vague error message. Let's dive into the details of their situation and see how we can help them resolve this problem. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now, let's continue on to the video. The error you're encountering is related to an invalid Google app ID in your Google service info.plist file. Let's start by checking that file. Make sure that the Google app ID matches the one provided in your Firebase console. If it doesn't, you'll need to download the correct configuration file. If the Google app ID is correct, ensure that the Google service info.plist file is properly included in your Xcode project. It should be added to the project navigator. Finally, clean your build folder and rebuild your project. This can help resolve any lingering issues. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. If you're experiencing a crash in your Firebase iOS integration due to an invalid Google App ID, it might be because your Google service info.plist file is corrupted. The solution is simple. Redownload the file and replace the existing one. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To avoid crashes when integrating Firebase in iOS, ensure you provide the correct Google App ID and GCM Sender ID. This is crucial when using the Firebase app.configure method. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To fix the crash caused by an invalid Google App ID in your Firebase iOS integration, simply re-download the Google service info.plist file from Firebase and replace the existing one in your project. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. If you're facing a crash in Firebase iOS integration due to an invalid Google App ID, here's a quick fix. Instead of initializing Firebase with all the options, you can simplify it. The new documentation suggests that you no longer need to specify all the fields during initialization. And that's it guys. I hope this video helped get you the answer that you're looking for. Now, I'll see you next time. Please subscribe for more question and answer videos. And if you have any more, please shoot them through in the comments. Have a good one.